Hello and welcome to the talk show and today we're going to be talking about NATO. NATO stands for the North Atlantic Treaty Organization which is an intergovernmental military alliance between North American and European countries, most notable being the USA. It was set up on the 4th of July 1949 when the North Atlantic Treaty was signed. All the members of NATO promise to protect each other from external attack or invasion. This is called collective defence, where everyone in the group protects everyone else. This is enshrined in Article 5 of the Washington Treaty, where it states that if there is an armed attack against one or more of them in North America or Europe, it is to be considered an attack against them all. This makes countries think twice before going to war with any of the member states of NATO, because they would have to, be going, have to go to war with countries such as the USA. All the 29 members promise to spend 2% of their GDP on defence. However, few do. Only Greece, Poland, Estonia, the UK and the USA spend that much. However, the others say that they are going to. This causes lots of tension between the member states, given that the USA spent so much on its defence. They see it as them subsidising the Europeans' defence budget. NATO was set up to try and deter the USSR from engaging in any conflict with Western countries after World War II. Countries such as the UK, West Germany and the USA. The USSR then set up the Warsaw Pact to try and rival NATO, made up of Eastern Bloc countries such as Poland, East Germany and the Soviet Union. The Warsaw Pact eventually collapsed along with the Soviet Union and then many former Warsaw Pact countries joined NATO. However, Russia did not. Russia still sees NATO as a threat to itself and has warned countries such as Sweden or Ukraine against joining NATO. If they were to join NATO and these Western alliances, then it would see its own influence over these countries dwindle. NATO very rarely has to use collective defence though. In fact, the only time when Article 5 has been invoked were the 9-11 attacks on the US. This led to an anti-terrorist campaign led by NATO and it showed solidarity among the other NATO members. Recently, the President of France, Emmanuel Macron, described NATO as brain dead, saying that there was waning cooperation from the USA and other countries such as Turkey. He used the US pulling out of Syria without consulting other NATO member states and Turkey buying Russian defence and military equipment as an example. However, these suggestions were quickly dismissed by leaders such as Angela Merkel. So, NATO is an intergovernmental military alliance which protects its member states from external attack or invasion. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.